Hello, it's Sarah. And I have my mermaid project today. I worked on this today. It was actually, it came together really quick because I had gathered all my supplies. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think I would change a few things if I were to do it again. Um, I like the way the background came out. Um, I told you, uh, I'm a little stuffy still, guys. Sorry about that. But I did use my gelatos, so it's just a gessoed canvas and uh, I just put a v variation of blues down to greens and then I did do the sand I did it the best I could it's not his exact recipe Tim Holtz um, I did use the uh, distress glitter in antique linen I used the clear um, UT and I used a little bit of distress uh, embossing powder, the vintage photo. I don't even know if that was in the, because I was too impatient to go back online and look. <sighs> That's just me. Um, but, and I actually mixed it with, uh, the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic instead of, um, glossy accents because I like glossy accents as a glue and I just didn't want to, I don't have that much in there and I didn't want to use that. So that's why I did that. Um, I did do the sequins on her. I didn't nearly put as many as I could have. I It's a lot of work. And I ended up just covering the holes with a little bit of stickles. I think in like a green color. I love this color. It's so pretty. Um, it's called eucalyptus. It's so pretty. Uh, I love how my um thank you jill so much i love all of the die cuts on this were gifted me from jill when we did our swap she had cut me out all these shells and starfish and sand dollars um and the seahorses so i actually used the crackle accents by ink Centrals, and i love how it turned out i painted it i painted them first with my um Lemur Halo Blue Gold. It's um, by Jacquard. These are fabric paints and it's like a um, metallic-y paint. So I painted them first. I did ink the edges and stuff, but I just covered them just like you would with glossy accents with the crackle accents and let it dry and they cracked. So I was really happy with that. I don't know if you can see, but she had a small one and a big one. I kind of made the big one loop around the mermaid's hand and it's like she's holding them. Um, I put one of the faces on her as you can see she's really tan I use some of the buff paper from the buff paper pad um, that uh, what's her name um, Julie Nutting put out for um, skin tones and hair tones and all this the red hair is kind of, it's just a paper um, that I had in my stash I don't know what what it's from but I knew I wanted her to be a redhead and I had these like burgundy and pink flowers that I wanted to use too. So I think she turned out pretty though. Oh, I used one of the faces. I like it. I used the one with the closed eyes, the middle one on her. And I just, you know, I kind of just, uh, I pinked up her cheeks a little bit. I didn't do too much coloring on there. And then, I mean, as you can see, I went crazy, of course, with embellishments. And that's what I mean. If I If I had it to do over... I wouldn't put as much, but I, I totally covered it with um, die cuts and um, punches and um, the die I used was this one and I can't find one of my leaves, but it's the Shapeability Spellbinders Foliage. I love the big one. The big one is back here. I did one. There's actually two, three of those on here. Um, my battery's blinking. I may have to do this all over again. Um, but that's it. These were just flowers that I had in my stash and they looked kind of, I don't know, underwatery and I just liked the way they were sitting on there. And I used all the burlap flowers and, um, like linen flowers and I put a pearl in the seashell. I just painted them with this dress. I did a lot of white shells, which I should have probably changed up the colors. I could have probably done this a little bit of a bluish or something but I use I just use the Tim Holtz I use the orange white and I did use pink on that shell but it's um so I'm gonna go back down 
that's pretty much it. Oh, I all I did was with the gelatos, I just used um, my circle stencil and rubbed away the color, and that's how I made the circles. The same thing with the swirls. I have a swirl stencil, and then I, I just rubbed away the color with a wet wipe to get like that background kind of swirliness. I probably would have brought the green up a little higher. Um, I could probably still add it, but I'm good. I think I would like to do another one. It was so fun. Um, and then I put these little bubbles. These little bubbles I bought for um, when I was doing resin. And they are actually a buttons. They're from the buttons. The uh, You guys know um, the buttons I always get. But anyway, so I just glued a few of those on. Oh, this is that um, yarn. The yarn, the netting yarn. I just used that just up in the top corner and kind of just it's pretty much covered with um, the flowers anyway but I think she turned out pretty cool I'm pretty happy with it but like I said I mean I definitely went crazy with the embellishing so it's really covered um, I like it though I think it turned out really cool I've enjoyed these last two projects I've, I've worked on so um, that's it Hope you guys like and thanks for watching.